Welcome back to the Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Don't do this to your foods. Advanced glycation end products. Before I get started, I want to welcome you to Holistic Health Champions, our educational modules on diet, lifestyle, and nutrition. It has a message board and supplement discounts. I'll leave the link below if you want to sign up. So let's get right to the video. So don't do this to your foods. Frying, grilling, and toasting at high heats. Why? Because it causes advanced glycation end products. Basically, it's harmful products that are formed from proteins and fats that combine with sugar. The accumulation of advanced glycation end products will increase aging and chronic disease. Now, there's advanced glycation end products pretty much everywhere even in raw meat. However, if you use high heat and you use frying, grilling, and toasting, especially with an addition of sugar, let's say a deep fried donut glazed, right? That's advanced glycation end products. So we don't want an accumulation of these advanced glycation end products. So your cooking method will matter. So in terms of diabetes, it will when you have increased sugar, it accelerates advanced glycation uh, end products because your high levels of, of glucose in your system will bind to proteins and fats. It causes microvascular damage, especially with the eyes, nerves in your legs uh, or your feet, and cardiovascular disease. So in terms of cardiovascular disease, there's cross-linking of proteins. Basically, it damages protein and increases clotting, increases inflammation, and oxidation. So plaquen, right? Advanced glycation end products will cause increase in clotting and, cl uh, and plaquen of your arteries. Number three, causes damage to the kidneys. It causes thickening of the glomerular membrane and decreases filtration. So your kidneys filter out things, right? So decreased filtration and your GFR, or glomerular filtration ratio, uh, rate will go down below 50 um, and it causes problems with kidney function. Obviously diabetes itself will cause kidney disease. Alzheimer's, advanced glycation end products will accumulate in neuronal tissues, basically amyloid beta plaques. That is a signature of Alzheimer's disease, creating cognitive decline, memory issues, and so forth. Increases inflammation, which is also another component that accelerates Alzheimer's disease. You also have skin aging. Basically, it impacts the collagen and elastin of your skin. So your skin will become uh, rapidly aged or even saggy. Uh, in terms of bone, it will weaken the collagen in the matrix of the bone, uh, causing more brittle bone and osteoporosis or osteopenia. So how do we manage advanced glycation end products? One, you want to manage blood sugar. It's very important. You don't want to develop insulin resistance diabetes. You want to avoid cooking in high heat, frying, okay, grilling, and toasting. Right, everyone loves like a, a nice toast that's like slightly brown or charred, or when you grill a steak, you, you char it on both sides. Um, that is advanced glycation end products. Processed foods increases it also, right? Just the process of cooking, heating, and making these products will increase advanced glycation end products. Even like roasted peanuts, when you have roasted peanuts that is caramelized, that's advanced glycation end products. Uh, you, want it, you want to increase antioxidant foods because that will counteract the advanced glycation end products. You need to exercise to reduce blood sugar and insulin resistance. You want to steam, boil, or stew the foods in a lower heat, not a high heat. Uh, vitamins like B1 or benfothiamine, uh, B6 or P5P, alpha lipoic acid, NAC or NAC, vitamin C, E, and D are all beneficial, or any type of um, 
foods or supplements that have high antioxidant levels in it. You want to use acidic marinades when you want to cook uh, certain foods. So lemon juice or uh, vinegar will decrease advanced glycation and products. So when you cook, you want to utilize an acidic marinade. All right, you definitely want to uh, reduce advanced glycation end products because that just accelerates and damages our tissue. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.